Alan McNish is answering Sim Raceway user questions uh, and this one uh, comes from Risto Caput. He says, how far do you think economic considerations will affect motor racing in the, in the coming years? Will we ever see a move to all electric racing with potentially uh, engine sounds, gearbox sounds piped in artificially? Um, I think... Just a nice easy question for Alan to answer here. Yeah, but I'll tell you what, I think that question is the question that's on a lot of people's lips. Mm. Sponsors, manufacturers, mm -hmm. and obviously fans as well. The next five to ten years are very, very important for motor racing. And economic factors come in massively into play because, you know, we're uh, in our own little bubble for sure mm. in motorsport. But we are just a reflection of business and society. Well you're already racing a hybrid diesel and if somebody had said racing a diesel took 20 years ago they would have laughed at you. A hybrid ten diesel. 10 years ago. 10 years ago, yeah when, absolutely. 2005 when uh, it was confirmed the R10 was going to be a diesel we thought oh my goodness what on earth are they doing here? And then now you know it's a very much the next development in and everything else and so you know there's a huge movement just in a short period of time yes. and now we're into hybrid diesel and various other systems that work in and around and about that and that I think will probably be the next development of five years is not just necessarily having one thing like a diesel or one thing like a hybrid but having things all linked together yeah. and systems working together to make it more efficient and ultimately that has got an economic benefit because if you've got things working more efficiently you have to spend less time pumping gas into it and uh, the idea of all electric I would never at this moment in time say that that's not going to happen mm. because it very easily could do and you it's know, not going to happen tomorrow in endurance racing for sure no but it's because not, battery but technology isn't there at the moment battery technology is moving forward so so yeah, quickly I agree. and the more people look at it the more it develops and interestingly the more you go racing with it the more it will accelerate the, the progress question there's no better way to push development forward uh, than having a race especially if you've had a bad one because it's yeah. public you're out there you've had a bad you're race and hard. everybody knows and you know the board members don't like it and they want results the next time and they push and everybody then works to get that success the next time. Formula E which has just started, mm. every team needs two cars because yep. you can't actually make the car go the distance on one set of minutes, batteries. 30 minutes yeah. in a battery or something yeah. at the moment. Yeah. So everybody's got to have two cars which environmentally is not that friendly when you're trucking all this stuff around the world. However, I do think that the pace of development will be accelerated by racing. No question. Because if you look at the, the diesel engine that you first raced in 2005 and the diesel engine that you race now in terms of the technology and the transfer of technology from road to street and back again. Forget about that. Just think of the fact that we had a V12 yeah. at that point and now we're at a V6. So yeah. we've got V12, V10, V6 yeah. and the power and torque and also the everything else around and about it and the fuel mileages we're getting. Mm -hmm. uh, it's absolutely transformed. It was a five, five and a half litre V12. It was a five and a half litre, yeah. And now it's 3.6 yes. V6. Go to that right. And you know, in that side of things it's it's a huge difference. And, and it's, it's faster, more fuel efficient, it's, it's just as reliable. Right, just as reliable, that's a given. In terms of faster, that's regulation based with the restrictors and things like that. Um, more fuel efficient, yes, it's yeah. definitely more fuel efficient and we've also gained in so many other areas as well and so yes I think the racing is a big step forward I think there is a chance of electric cars as a racing series and whether you pipe in noise or not because noise is a big issue mm. at a lot of motorsport circuits around about Europe mm. where there's noise regulations and for example at Brands Hatch the famous track there if you have a track day you know the, there's a lot of locals complaining and so therefore they're only allowed certain numbers of days per year yeah. to be on circuit at one of the most famous circuits in Europe mm -hmm. and so you know it's something that I think we've got to consider in the, in the future and I right now think that the next like I said the next five years is probably technologies that we've got at the moment but adding them all together and then after that let's wait and see. The good news is of course 
if you don't have an engine noise, you could have any noise you want. So you can sort of plug your MP3 player in and make it sound like a spaceship or an ice cream van or your favourite tune. Bagpipes. We could have the bagpipes player. What have I started? Yeah, that'd be fantastic. What it? have I started? And then as the green light goes on, and cars go na 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 na, coming into the pits instead of in the horn. <laughs> It'd be brilliant. Now that you've you've created something here, the musical series, the musical what? championship. Still, maybe we'll leave that.